Hi, good afternoon and welcome to tdcat.com. Today we're looking at Ableton and also a bit of Machina thrown in as well. And we're going to create a fast gating effect on some music. This is an effect that's been used a lot in the last 15 or 20 years on music, but it still sounds great and is one of my favorite effects. So I'm gonna create it and show you how it's done. There are a number of tutorials already out there on this, but there have been a lot of changes to Ableton and none of those really cover it in its current state. So uh, I'm gonna redo it and also just make sure that I know how to do it myself. So firstly, the music bit. Well, I'm gonna use Machina for that because YouTube with all its sort of copyright restrictions and stuff like that, I think is going to limit my options somewhat. So I'm just gonna throw in a couple of uh, patterns from Machina. So what I'm going to do first of all is uh, put in a kit. Uh, I'm going to choose, I'm just going to choose the Sunset Pier kit and my first set is just going to be the drums. Uh, so I'm going to disable here all the uh, chord stuff, the pads, so I'll actually make it just the drums and drums and the bass. So it sounds something like this. In fact, we'll put it on pattern two, like this. Right, so that's our first instrument in there. And in our second track here, I'm gonna put in Machina again. I'm gonna put that same kit in. This is really, you know, you would have in here whatever track you want to create this effect on, and you don't have to do it this way, but just make sure everything's in time and nice. So I'll select pattern two on that again. And this time, just go to view and large in case you want to increase the size of the plugin. And this time I'm gonna enable everything but the drums and the bass. So when we put the two together, we should get the whole track. Which we do, and that's exactly what I want. So I wanna be able to separate those two off. Uh, right, so there's our music bit. Now what we need to do is we need to have something to 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 basically um, arpeggiate so that we can drive a gate on the bit of the track that we want a fast gate. So you wouldn't usually, well, I suppose you might do the whole, the whole audio bit, but a lot of the time you might leave the bass and the drums underneath, which is what, what I'm going to do here, and just um, fast gate the... Uh, the chords on top because then it's not quite as abrupt sounding uh, but it depends what effect you're going for but that's what I'm going to do here anyway so I'm going to have that bass and drum track underneath and um, I'm going to stutter or fast gate the, um, the, the synths etc so what I'm going to do here is add in operator so if I go to instruments and I double click on operator adds in a operator and the reason I'm using operator is because it's just very clean nice sine wave when it, by its default settings it's just a sine wave and that's perfect for what I need now I'm just going to add in a MIDI uh, doesn't matter really matter how long this is because you could just loop it and do control shift M and add in MIDI event and I'm just going to put something on the C3 line uh, just a across the whole length of that. So what we should have now is just a sine wave. Which I, if I solo that, you might be able to hear. Ah, there we go, we've got a sine wave. I think it's at minus 12 dB, that particular sine wave. So now we want to arpeggiate that. And we can do that by going to MIDI effects and we have an arpeggiator here. If I go back to here, double click, and the arpeggiator obviously has to come before the instrument because it, it's driving the effects on that instrument. You know, you can't, oh, there's no point arpeggiating after. Um, so just in its default set, we'll have a listen to that. Pretty good, but I probably want it to be sixteenths rather than eight. So we can change the rate here. I think in all honesty, anything higher than 132, 30 seconds, would you call it? Yes, I suppose, uh, is just too fast because it just sounds silly, doesn't it? You would never want to fast gate something like this. It just, I mean, it just makes it sound like it's broken. Uh, to be honest, 32 is probably a little fast. Yeah, so I'd really go for anything 16th 
or eighths in most cases. You can do it by time as well, but uh, I want it to stick to the BPM. So let's do it at sixteenths. Nice. Okay. So what you'll notice, you've got a setting here called gate, and this really reduces the length of each of the arpeggiated pulses, if you like. I don't really know the best way to describe that, so I'll just show you by demonstrating. And for something that's quite fast, a fast rate like 1 16th, we really want a very distinct pulse into our gate to make it cleanly turn the audio on and off. We can change the attack and the release within the gate a little bit later, uh, but having that nice, sharp, clean pulse into there with by dropping this gate setting down to 1% gives us exactly what we want. Uh, so, but you can adjust that, you know, tweak it until your heart's content, really. Right, so what we need to do now is find the one that had the track, uh, the synths on. Which one was it? Yeah, it was this one. Okay. So this track has the synths on, so that's the one we're going to gate. So we need to go to Audio Effects, go to Gate, double click, add that in, reduce our return down to 0 dB, and reduce our floor to infinity. And there we have our gate at its standard threshold, our default threshold of minus 12 dB. It has to be, we, but what are we going to drive it from? We're not going to drive it from the, whatever's coming in from Machina. We want to drive it from the operator track. That's the name of the track, by the way. No, it's not related to the plugin that's on the track. You can change that to whatever. So if we open this out, we'll see we want the audio here from operator. And then we need to enable sidechain, and that's now being driven by operator. So what we have on that track is, you'll see, that pulse from operator coming through on the gate. We have no audio because everything's below the threshold at the moment. But if we reduce that threshold down, you start to see that you get audio coming through. Now, this track's soloed at the moment, so what I'll do is I'll just put it back up again. And de-solo. Just reduce, I'll reduce the threshold down slowly so you can see it happening. So you see the benefit of having that really nice um, definite pulse in there. So we just increase that up again. You can see what's happening. I'm just going to disable that track. And we've disabled the operator track, obviously, because we don't want to hear that. Uh, we don't want to hear the, sign, the pulsing sine wave, even though it can sound quite good, actually, if you listen to this. It sound quite good. <laughs> So yeah, having this very definite pulse there is great. So if I can zoom in a little bit tighter now, and you can see what I mean when I, so if I change this opera, uh, this arpeggiator setting and increase this gate here like that, you'll see that what we have is a far less definite pulse, which means that the gate isn't as, isn't as sharp to function. So you gotta make sure, it's really important, uh, at least for this type of sound I want, uh, to make sure that's down. But let's have a play with that and see how, um, see how it affects the audio. Uh, what are we doing now? Go back to Machina and reduce the threshold.
Oh, there's a, a nice effect that we have uh, on the gate now as well, our, our attack and release. I think you want to have a an attack of about five milliseconds. Anything below five milliseconds sounds too harsh. The human ear uh, doesn't sort of agree very well with hu with incredibly fast attack times. It's uh, I think it's nicer to have something that's just got a very gentle fade in. And um, release can be adjusted to create a very different effect. You'll notice there it's a very sort of sliding sort of up and down effect, which sounds great too. Okay, well, hopefully you get the idea. So you, so in summary then, we're using operator, a sine wave from operator, uh, arpeggiated to drive the side chain of a gate on another audio track so that you can create a stutter and fast gating effect on that track. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, please do ask. And if you like what we do, then uh, we'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon.